the party really took off after we left. Should we have stayed? I just wanted to go to one awesome party. Throw your own party. I excuse me? You're sick of not having parties to go to. Throw your own. Sounds to me like you boys deserve your moment of being cool. That was weird. Gentlemen, that man at Bobby Freeze was onto something. And when a weird man approaches you, a young boy in public, you do what he tells you. We're having a party. Where? Right here. My parents are on vacation in Sarajevo. Every four years, they like to tour a former Olympic site so they can imagine what the games were like and reflect on how the Olympians' best days are long behind them. Great idea for a vacation. The Olympics create more problems than they fix for a city. And every year, they leave me a special allowance in case I decide to have some fun while they're away. I've never touched it. So we can spend $400 on an awesome party. And the popular kids won't be invited. It'll be for kids like us, the dorks and nerds. And the, and the kids who are both stupid and unattractive. Aren't those dorks? No, dorks are often quite good looking. We'll invite small head Dave, uh, friendless Becky Fleming, Lolo Fuentes. Sexually curious homeschooled girl Lolo Fuentes? Her parents don't let her leave the house. Maybe she'd sneak out for this, because this is going to be a party for all the kids who are never included. A party for the unincluded un deaf kids! Whoa, it's packed. Yo, I heard you losers are having a party, and I go to every party, because I kind of have a drinking problem. Welcome. If you would just stand on that X, someone will be along to take your coat. Coat check. Nice touch. It's actually a little chilly. I might hang on to my coat. Hey, Mertz. How do you like your eggs? I like them hard boiled in the winter, so I can put them in my pockets and keep my hands warm on my walk to. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah! Guys, we've become what we despise. Yeah! Our reign of cool starts now. <laughs> I'm you, Steve, from the year 2040. And I'm you, Snot, and we're here to warn you. You can't go back to that party. If you're from the future, who wins the World Series next year? Rene Russo. Buckle up, it's a crazy season. Future us? We're so polished. Steve, look at us. We're still hanging out. Yeah, we're best friends. Like Taylor Swift and Usain Bolt. Oh, you don't know about that yet. They become best friends, briefly overthrow the U.S. government, and are beheaded together in Times Square. Steve, they don't want a boring history lesson. What's important is we've been inseparable for like 30 years, and together we invented the time machine. See, here's the secret to life. If you're an awkward outsider as a kid, you end up being a rich, cool, and very successful adult. But a few days ago, we had a couple failures in the lab, and that was weird. And when I got a memory of getting a blowjob in high school, we knew something was very wrong. Oh no, that's so bad. We checked the security footage from our lab and noticed that Mertz stole one of our time machines. I bet Mertz was that janitor in Bobby Freeze. He, he told us to have a party. Oh, he wants you to be cool now, so in the future you aren't as successful. You guys can't go back down to that party. What? You're asking us to give up our chance to be popular and talk to all the girls who are here to see us? Better be worth it for us later on. Oh, it is. I've had sex four times with three different women. You hear that, Snot? Someone came back for seconds. Snot? He went down to the party. He's gonna ruin everything. Okay, go get him. But don't talk to anyone. Don't do anything memorable. Just make your usual zero impact on people. Your future depends on it. What happens to me and Toshi? Toshi stopped talking to us after high school. And Barry, old friend, you died young in a Formula One accident. Did a wheel hop the grandstand and take my head off because I was looking the other way because of nachos? No, you were a super famous driver. Oh. 
In fact, during your final Grand Prix, you got blinded by the amount of tits being flashed in your face. But you kept your foot on the gas, Barry. That was your way. No one had ever seen a blind guy drive so straight. If only it had been a straight course. Oh, zero impact. Don't even make a ripple. Klaus, have you seen Snot? Why would I be looking for Snot? This dude's hitting on me! It's Steve! Steve, come hang out! Don't even make eye contact. Lolo Fuentes. Lolo Fuentes. It's Lolo Fuentes. That's Lolo Fuentes. Lolo Fuentes is here. Lolo Fuentes. Steve Smith? Um, I'm Lola Fuentes. I've been homeschooled my entire life, and I've never socialized with peers before tonight. Thank you for including me. Uh... I've never talked to a boy before, but even I can tell you're being smooth. <laughs> and I can't lie, I'm, I'm feeling some new feelings. May, may I hug you? Zero impact. You know just what to say. Hey, where am I? A second ago, I was blasting my abs at the gym where I train for free because I'm assistant manager. Whoa! I'm so ripped now! How many girls have you had sex with? How many girls haven't I had sex with? Zero. I'm awesome! I'm not awesome! Look at me! Am I under a roof? Sheets! Steve, what did you do? I went downstairs to look for you. I was in the bathroom. I'd never go downstairs. I love my future self. The clean one. Sorry, dude. Look, I'm the one who gave up. It's my bad. I... I didn't do anything cool, I swear. You must have done something cool in the bathroom. I assure you, what I did in the bathroom was not cool. Steve, come downstairs so we can keep making out and breaking things. <gasps> Lolo, Bunny, give us a second. How could you do this to us? I couldn't help myself! It's Lolo Fuentes! Look, all we have to do is go back in time and undo what I just did. How are you gonna do that? With your time machine! Whoa! -ho -ho! I have a time machine? It's gone! Whoa! -ho -ho! I don't have a time machine! Time for a one minute plank! One banana, two banana, Three banana? Steve, you ruined my future! No, no not necessarily. M maybe you're a bum by choice. You know, get out of the rat race. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing a rat race again. They're fixed. The rats know all the shortcuts. My rain boots. Look, Snot, our futures clearly aren't set in stone. Let's just go downstairs so you can do something cool. Then your future will be awesome, just like mine. I guess it's worth a shot. Barry, who's training you these days? Steve Slack! Woo, yeah! If I'm cool here, you can be cool here, too. There's Becky standing all alone. Go bring her a drink. Okay. Hey, Becky. In this sea of losers, you're the real standout. We may be unincluded, but I'm including you in my masturbation fantasies later. Soda? My shirt is ruined! This is the first party I've ever been to, and it's ruined! Whoa. Maybe there's a reason some of these people don't get invited to stuff. I blew it! I'm never talking to a girl again! No way! That took guts! Let's go upstairs and meet the new and improved future you! Hey, Steve. Mm. 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 Snot, I gotta tell you, she's a hell of a lot better at this than you are. Hey! 
Hey! Future me is even bigger! And he got a sweet new deep V-neck hoodie! Sub. Where's future me? Someone peed in there. How did I become a convict? Long time ago, I spilled a drink on this girl, Becky, and she screamed at me. I vowed never to speak to a woman again, and I never did. Not even the ones I ate. Steve! Don't even worry about it. Sounds like all you have to do is talk to a girl in the next 20 years, and this guy, poof, he's gone. You're right. Let's do it now. <laughs> do I hear girls downstairs? And if so, does your basement have, like, one of those drains in the floor? There's some girls. Talk to him. Hi? We're smokers. If you want to talk to us, you gotta smoke. <laughs> okay, you talk to a girl. Oh my god, I had a tracheotomy! Actually, my master said I needed a new sex hole. This is hopeless! No matter what we do, future me is doomed! Wait a minute. We've been trying to make you look cool when everybody here is a nerd. We need to play to our audience. Have you been practicing your magic? Magic doesn't exist, but illusions are real! If you'd given me a heads up, I'd be holding flowers right now. My card's not in the deck. Oh, man, are you sure? I know what card I picked. Would you mind cutting open that orange? Oh. That's an amazing trick, let's go. Did that work? What is happening? How did I get this way? I can't even explain it to us. It's not, relax. No matter what happens to you in the future, at least we'll always be friends. Yeah, right. Friends with a half turtle when there's full turtles to be friends with? Steve, we haven't been friends in any of these futures. You're right. That's it. It's our friendship that makes us so successful. What we gotta do is guarantee that we'll be friends no matter what the future holds. How? We gotta be outcasts again, both of us. Unincluded from even the unincludeds. Sorry, ripped future me. Even though you're super awesome, I gotta do this for my best friend. I guess I'm saying goodbye to these. No matter what your future, you can still commit yourself to regular exercise. I said goodbye. I'm scared. Don't be scared of them. Be scared of them. Let's do this. This is weird. I'm going home to spend the rest of high school with my father. But it sucks. These two are such losers. They make me feel so bad.
Thank God we're back. And everything's the same. Did one of you guys just break a beaker? Why? Does it change the future? No, but be careful! Stop yelling at the kids! Bye, have a beautiful time.